Hello everyone! Welcome back to World of Warcraft. And this is, um, perhaps the first of what I'm probably gonna consider as, like, just extra stuff. Uh, not necessarily any, uh, WoW videos that have to do with any of my other official playthroughs of that, but just kind of, like, something cool I found that I wouldn't mind showing. Like, you know... Just because. I think it would be cool to not only experience it, but also to show it to those who haven't uh, seen it before. So this is my Warlock, who I have kind of had be my main alt when it comes to checking out other stuff before I try to record it. At least when it came to class hall stuff, broken shore stuff, a lot of stuff in Legion. He was the one that I kind of experienced Argus with first before I would be like, okay, so I'll plan to do it like this for this character. Well, recently I have heard about a quest that actually happened back in Mists of Pandaria that actually uh, provides a really cool thing for your Warlock character that I have actually always wanted for my, char for my character. Something I thought would be really cool that would really kind of help play up the fantasy of playing the Warlock class. And it's a quest line that actually leads to you getting green fell fire. So, I heard that the way to start this is you have to acquire... You have to forgive me, I had to turn... I, I noticed my game was really, really um, performing badly. So, I've disabled add-ons because recently they've upgrade, updated the game. And when they do that, it takes a while for the rest of the mods to get updated. So, I'm going to hold off. So, what you need to do is you need to start off by getting this item. The Sealed Tome of the Lost Legion. Which... I've heard you can either get by farming it in the Isle of Thunder in Pandaria or by just getting it at the auction house. And you combine it with a hellstone. So let's see. I'm going to do this. I'm going to unlock this tome and see how this works. I have a hellstone right there. This is the first time I've ever been doing this quest line. I kind of know about this quest line, but I haven't actually done it. Ooh. The tome appears to be written in an ornate, sprawling script that seems to rise off the pages. It vaguely resembles demonic, but the symbols are far more elaborate than any you've ever seen. Perhaps one of your demonic companions can tell you more. Speak with your demonic minion to determine the origins of the tome. Alright, let's first get our fell guard out here. You cannot command me. What do you want? What can you tell me about this tome? Hmm. I recall seeing such script on the Nathrazim homeworld. I cannot read it, and I doubt any of your kind could either. Hmm. Interesting. Where would it be? Ah, Warlock. There we go. Alright, let's see the purpose. Let's ask our Void Lord. You wish to speak with me? As usual. I cannot read the words, but the magic points to a world that exists no longer. It was destroyed by the Legion. Fascinating. The Codex appears to be a powerful tome written in an ancient pre-demonic tongue. You strongly suspect that it should be brought to the attention of the warlock trainers in your capital city. Which, they are right there. Return to your capital city, Sika. Okay, bring the Codex to the Warlock Trainer. Hello there. Zog, zog. What right. do you need? What is your blades never oh, die. Oh, no. Valhar. Come on. I'm trying to remember. Okay, what is this? Or the Horde! Speak. Here we go. What? Where in the great dark did you find this? A tale of six masters. This book may be just the leverage we've been seeking. How familiar are you with the Council of the Black Harvest? I am the leader of the Council. In fact, I'm wearing the full Black Harvest armor set. After Deathwing was defeated, six of the greatest warlocks gathered together to teach all warlocks advanced forms of magic stolen from our defeated foes. Take a look at the tome beside me. 
Aha. That one there, you say. Read, pupil, and know that I am called Jubeka Shadowbreaker. Oh, she's one of my, fa my followers. And it is my duty to share some of the wisdom of our order with those who have the skill to read this document. After the fall of Deathwing, it was clear that the sorcery of the warlocks was sorely lacking in bite when compared to the threats facing Azeroth. So our council of six warlocks gathered to discuss how best to investigate the new magics witnessed by these threats. At first, the six of us refused to cooperate, tossing blame and bickering as easily as shadow bolts and curses. Finally, after several nights, the human Canrathod spoke out. In the wake of the cataclysm, the rising tensions between the Horde and the Alliance have driven the greatest heroes of Azeroth to train for war. Warriors have readied their war banners. The Death Knights of Acherus have learned to control the undead. And it is even said that the mages are researching ways to undo time itself. The relentless darkness which bathed Azeroth has been pushed back. Cho'gal is slain, and the remnants of the Twilight's Hammer cult have been scattered. Ragnaros is defeated, and his armies forced back into the Firelands. Deathwing lies torn apart, and his Twilight Drakes obliterated. However, the powers they commanded are not so easily forgotten. Powers untapped and ripe for the taking. In fact, among us now stand several who have faced their power firsthand, he said, pointing at a hooded figure across the room. A deep, sinister laugh echoed from the hood as it burst into flames and burned away to reveal the orc enchanter, Ritson. It is true, Pinkskin. I was there when the Fire Lord was vanquished. The intensity of his flame was unlike anything thing that you can imagine. The burning, uh, the burning glow of Ritson's eyes cast eerie shadows over his burn-scarred face and thick tusk grin. Untrue spat a sharp feminine voice, Shinfell. A blood elf adorned with sharp spikes of twilight elementium glared across the table. Until you have been a prisoner within your own mind, you know nothing of horror. Shinfell's blood had been corrupted during the fight with Chogol and her arms were now covered in black marks, left behind by the corruption that had erupted from her skin. The experience had only served to increase the intensity of her sadism. Shinfell continued, Even the Fire Lord's flames were overshadowed by the raw chaos unleashed by the Destroyer. She paused a moment and glanced to the worgen, who remained eerily silent. Zinnan had been present when Deathwing was unmade, and had not spoken a word since. Zinnan's eyes narrowed for a moment, then snarled at Ritson. Kanrathod stood up from the table and took a deep breath. This is exactly why we are here. I have no love for any of you, but we each bore witness to pieces of even greater power. Imagine if we fused the molten fury of the Firelands with the unstoppable chaos of Deathwing. Even the powers of the Burning Legion could not hold a candle to our Ritson kicked his boots upon the table and snickered. <laughs> Just who would do this? You? He spat. I think not. You haven't been seen in battle since the Siege of the Black Temple. If it weren't for having shared the secrets of Illidan's transformation with this council, I would kill you just for having the audacity of summoning me. Kanrathod's lips pursed for a moment, but he relaxed and continued. No. The scope of this task exceeds the capabilities of any single member here. I propose this council split into pairs. Ritson and Zinnan would lead a group of into Sulfurus, or Sulfurus. Similarly, Shinfell and Zelifrax would hunt down the remaining members of the Twilight's Hammer cult and persuade them to share what they learned. The pock-faced gnome applauded with mirthful glee. Canrathod continued, Then we returned one year from now, and take the results of our expeditions back to our own sex, more powerful than we would have been alone. Ritson frowned as he saw the greed drawn out in the human's words dance across the council's faces. And what would keep us from simply killing our partner in their sleep once it was a success? Kenrathod's brow furrowed, and he growled. Which is why we swear that if any member of this council breaks the contract and fall, fails to return or returns alone, the others shall strike them down and banish their soul forever. We either succeed together 
or die alone. Ritson was a powerful warlock and could probably defeat Kamrathod by himself, but against all five of us, we saw his he we all saw his hesitation. We all let our hands drift towards our scrolls and weapons. Fine, Ritson reluctantly agreed. I can play along with your fool's errand, but first I must know. Where will you and that miserable forsaken Jubeka be going? Me? Spoke Kanrathod with a wicked grin. Why, I'm returning to Outland. By the way, all those people are part of my order hall and legion. Just saying. That's why I kind of knew their voices, because I've interacted with, been interacting with them quite a bit. You are ready to learn more. Ghoulings, take this, the journal of Jubeka Shadowbreaker. Read the journal and use the information contained within to track down where she went. Find her soul stones and use them to locate her. And use the clues and then stone fragments. Was the other two uh, warlock trainer quests there. Let me make sure this is enabled. So yes, we now have to go back to Outland, which is why I was here to do that. And then we just go... Whoop, right over here to the portal to Hellfire Peninsula. Ah, uh, Outland. The oldest content in the game. Because of how much Cataclysm changed both uh, Kalimdor and the Eastern Kingdoms. To pretty much remove a huge portion of uh, what was left of the vanilla content from those days. I don't know why there's no music playing. I mean, it's turned down, but still. Alright. There's a Hellfire Fragment, Nether Storm, Fragment Memory, Blade's Edge, and Shadow Moon. Now, how am I supposed to be able to find the fragment in this giant radius here. How am I supposed to spot this? Campfire. Just a random campfire right there, huh? Oh, Outland. I remember... Oh, man, I remember questing right over here. I wonder if I'm too high to spot it. But then again, I I don't exactly know where it is. Oh, this is part of that quest. Oh, gosh, I remember that. Oh, that quest was annoying. Ooh. A 60 undead mage. It is cool running into lower level characters and like, Hey, how you doing? A wanted poster. <laughs> Fell Reaver. I could probably take down this guy easily. Oh, let's uh, switch back to Destro. I mean, after all, the point of this quest is to get my fire to turn green. You know, this stuff here. Oh, wait, that's right. I'm supposed to read the journal. I completely forgot I'm supposed to read the journal. This document contains the daily journal of one of the master warlock trainers. The pages are filled with random notes, the occasional drawing of an imp's internal organs, and the occasional tidbit on the preferred diet of fell hunters. Near the end, an entry catches your eye. Day 26. It has been nearly two weeks since Kanrathod and I arrived in Outland. Almost immediately afterwards, he departed for Shadowmoon Valley. I didn't bother to ask why, as long as he doesn't get himself killed. My research here in this dusty wasteland continues as drudgingly as expected. While the Legion's onslaught is subside, a number of the rarer demon specimens remain. Day 28. 
The fell imps of fell spark ravine and hellfire are remarkably chatty. Ah. Fell spark ravine. Hmm. I wish I had my uh, map add on. Oh. I've discovered that they are just as easy to con contract into service as their names are to learn. The ritual to summon one is trivial at best. Void lords are rather difficult to stumble across, but it takes very little persuading to convince one to divulge the name of a rival lord. I have wondered once or twice if Canrathad will ever return, but in the end, it doesn't actually matter. The council can put me to death. So long as my grimoires last, so will my legacy. Day 32. While examining the nauseating ruins of Farallon today in Netherstorm, I was ambushed by a race of floating eyeball squids calling themselves observers. They were unexpectedly intelligent. They expressed a deep desire to bear witness to all forms of magic and willingly offered their services in exchange for the opportunity to consume new forms of magic. The ritual to summon an observer is unexpectedly complex. While natives of the great dark beyond, they are highly uh, migratory and, or migratory. How do you say that? And the summoning ritual must compensate for their travels. Without their willing assistance, summoning an observer would be nearly impossible. Day 35. Kenrathod returned, looking incredibly grim. Considering that his undisciplined technique, it should be no surprise that his research has been less than successful. I'm ready to attempt the binding of a higher order member of the Burning Legion, but I dare not attempt the ritual alone. In fact, perhaps Kenrathod would prove the perfect test subject. Day 36. Remarkable! My first attempt to summon a higher order member of the Legion failed as spectacularly as planned. The Shivara broke free almost instantly after Kanrathod completed the ritual. I expected the frail human to be struck down while I banished the creature. Instead, in the instant that the Shivara's razor-sharp blade sliced through the air, Kanrathod's form shifted, and the blades bounced as if striking stone. Unlike the typical form of metamorphosis, he did not complete the demonic transformation. Perhaps his research has been more successful than I expected. So for those of you who don't remember, back in Wrath of the Lich King, uh, when they made class changes, they actually made some changes to demonology where a warlock could actually use metamorphosis like Illidan did in Burning Crusade. Which was like, oh, okay. I really should not go there. That's... Honor Hold is an alliance facility. I really should, because I'm going to get shot down if I keep going that way. Day 40. The key to binding a Wrath Guard has ironically redu was ironically reducing the number of runic symbols used in the summoning circle. Wrath Guards are highly resistant to charms and compulsion, but readily respond to basic expressions of strength. Kenrathod was unexpectedly insightful into the condition that the Legion uses to compel the Wrathguard to action. His l ability to express his dominance over lesser demons is remarkable, if short-lived. With great pains, I've been able to inscribe the forms he uses to summon multiple demonic servants at once. Unfortunately, while he can bind two lesser demons indefinitely, I can only do so for a short time. <sighs> Let's see. Well, that's a good chunk of this video that no one's ever going to see. <laughs> oh, that took way too long. So at some point, I'm going to go back and uh, cut out a huge chunk of all that where I was looking all around, couldn't figure out where it was. So I actually looked it up and I found a picture. Fell Spark Ravine. And I was like, where is that? And then I realized it was this type of terrain. I looked down. There it is. Oh, just don't know. Don't know. I am not in the mood. Okay. Uh, all right, so let's see. We need to go to Netherstorm, Blade's Edge, and Shadow Moon. 
Shadow Moon. Let's hold off on Shadow Moon, actually. Yeah, I re-put my add-ons back on because I was wanting the coordinates because I just couldn't take it. It was so frustrating trying to figure out where it was and people were like, oh, it's at these coordinates. And I'm like, where are my coordinates? All right, let's go to Blades Edge Mountains. In the meantime, let's read the, let's, uh, oops, let's keep reading the journal while we're flying. Day 40. The key to binding... Oh, wait. I already read that. Day 8. Or, I'm sorry. <laughs> Gosh, I'm so frustrated and flustered on, like... <sighs> Alright. <sighs> Alright. Okay. Alright. Day 47. We left a few ogre corpses in our wake, but studying the ritual circle of Vimgal re revealed additional ways of bolstering our power using demonic sacrifices, while the act greatly enrages our demonic servants using their life energy to our own provides a dramatic increase in power with a little experimentation i discovered that the more closely linked you are with the demon you sacrifice the greater the power of the ritual kenrathod's ability to restrain his demonic transformation seems to have reached a plateau once again his lack of power disgusts me things that would be trivial to most warlocks take him an eternity day 50 at Kenrathod's ins insistence, we headed for the Altar of Damnation in Shadowmoon Valley. He seems to be convinced that there is more to the Hand of Gul'dan than just a show of power. I'm not convinced, but at this point my grimoires are complete. I don't understand his obsession with controlling the flow of demonic power granted by his transformation. While he plays around with ancient altars, I intend to try my hand at opening a gateway to conjure many wild imps at once. Day 60. Kanrathod is up to something. To say that I'm concerned about our next move is a dramatic understatement. The last page. At ra a raged or a ragged note is drawn on in onto the back cover of the leather journal. I'm convinced there is no chance that we will return from this next adventure alive. There is simply no way I could take the risk that my grimoires go unread. For that reason, I have contracted the imps to leave four fragments of my soul stone at the locations listed in my journal. I'm sending this journal to you, my trusted friend, that should the need locate to locate me arise, you bring the four stones together, find my body, and ensure that my grimoires are brought back to Azeroth. Signed, Jubeka Shadowbreaker. Ah, there it is. There's Vimgal's circle. Ah, there's the fragment. <sighs> Memory. I tire of your evasive babble, Doomguard. Explain to me why you and your kind are drawn to sacrificial magics. My contract is to fight for you, not to reveal the Legion's secrets, mortal. Do not attempt to deceive me, demon. Your kind far predates Sargeras' betrayal. What were you? This knowledge is useless. What are you trying to achieve, Kandathod? Stay out of this. The demon will answer. Now! What an... Odd demand. Not even my own kind care about our origins. Why should you? If you do not care, then there's no harm in telling me. Before Sargeras freed us, we were the Titan's hounds, forever enslaved to police the use of arcane magics. Sacrificial magic was considered the greatest violation of life, and we were attuned to instantly punish those who delved into such secrets such a uh, sorcery. You have your petty secret, Kenrathod. Now I demand knowledge from you. Why do you care? I don't believe that is part of our contract. We are done here. Jebeka, complete the ritual. Jebeka's really good at uh, 
Banishment. So you know that's that uh, ability we have, uh, banish. Yeah, she's like an expert at that. All right, now to another storm. All right, let's see. The second soul stone is found at the highest area of the ruins of Farallon. Okay. The ruins of Farallon. Where is that? Oh, way over there. Okay. All right. I've been to, coming to another storm a lot lately. For those of you who don't know, I've been uh, trying to farm Ashes of Alar. So I've been doing this a lot. I like how it says the more I do it, the more my chances go up that it's actually going to drop. Uh, tell that to the people I know who have uh, done raids such as this Tempest Keep as well as uh, ICC. About 500 times. No, I'm not joking. There's. I found a video of someone who said he had beaten Lich King 500 times before Invincible finally dropped for him. Alright, so these are the ruins over here. The fragments is so small. The ruins of Pharaoh. Let's see if I can spot it. Ah! Is that it? Yes, that's it right there. Oh. Such strange creatures. Why do they remain so long after the Legion has left? There's a slight flaw in that supp supposition. Oh? The observers were in the service of Illidan, not the Legion. Well, he's gone too. So why are they still around? How should I know? Well, I've spent weeks trying to understand how to summon one of these things. If you know something I don't, I'd appreciate if you'd share it with us, lesser mortals. What's the problem? You handled the binding of the Fell Imps and Voidlords effortlessly. They were trivial by comparison. These things were n are never in the same place. There's something strange about them. Something out of place. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Oh, dear. Okay. Those things are just kind of... Boom, boom, boom. I guess they're trapped. All right. Now... Oh gosh, now we have to go all the way down to Shadow Moon Valley. <laughs> oh my goodness. Alright, I'm gonna edit the traveling out of this. Alright, well. We are finally here. <laughs> uh, not only did it take me a while to fly here, but then it also took me a while to figure out where this was. It's actually like right here between the death forge and the hand of Gul'dan. all right what is it you wish to show me i've seen the fear in your eyes chewbacca what no i have no idea Gul'dan destroyed this world in his bid for power you're concerned that i will do the same to azeroth no stay back you you're dangerous I remain content summoning... You, you toy with becoming one yourself. Summoning demons, but you... You toy with becoming one yourself. There are two sides to the blade of demonology. The threat that besieges us from the outside. And those that threaten us from within. I chose you as my companion for a reason. And what depraved reason is that? If I fail, I need you to banish me forever. Wow. 
Wow. Again, the thought actually was like... Didn't want to become that. You've collected all four fragments of Jebecca's soul stone. You just need to fuse it together now. Seek the signal. The soul stone shards fuse together easily in your hands. Strangely, no soul is stored within the stone. Instead, the stone seems to be drawing power from somewhere in Shadow Moon Valley. Looking east, you feel the power linked beyond the mountains to the very gates of the Black Temple. Oh boy. We're going to the Black Temple, everybody. But no, we are not going to go through the raid and face Illidan. If I was going to do that, I would not be using my Warlock. I can, I'll tell you that right now. I'd be using uh, only a, a class that's trained to use one-handed uh, like swords, you know, or weapons. Like Warglaives. Because you certainly don't want to go through the Black Temple Raid with a character that can't wield them. And then the glaive drops for you, and then all of a sudden you've wasted that chance. This is something I really wish Blizzard would fix. I understand the, you know, how and why it works, but at the same time, I really wish there was a, a way, a system, something, where, let's say if I go through this with my Warlock this raid and the war glaives drop i would love to have an option where i can then send it to one of my characters that does that is trained with one-handed so i can collect it as opposed to like well i guess i can't collect it too bad juveka soulstone has led you to the black temple the only thing left to do is to find a way inside infiltrating the black temple it's clear that Jubeka Soulstone has f has led you here to the Black Temple. The question remains, why? The only remaining option is to head inside and figure out why they were here. On the main entrance of the Black Temple, once inside, speak to Jubeka. Where is your mark? You didn't leave it over here, did you? Chewbacca? Okay, now where did the quest go? Phase them out. I don't need that interfering right now. Ah, there it is. There's Jebecca's mark. Enter the temple. Wait, why have I joined a queue? I was like, wait a minute, what? Okay. Sorry about the echo there. I don't know why it's that loud. It shouldn't be. Hmm. Well, I'm. These are level ninety, and of course. Really, guys. This temple is the domain of the Ashtung Brotherhood. I must ask you to leave. Now! Oh! Oh! So this is a avoid being seen or else you're instantly failed scenario. Okay. Um, I didn't realize that that's what we were doing. Why can't I just fight my way through? am I supposed to get past this? Hmm. 
Now, if I'm not supposed to be detected to get inside, how am I supposed to somehow do this? Can I seriously just kill one of these guys and be done with it? Oh. Okay, I can. Oh, but hold on. I just got uh, rooted. I got netted. And I'm stuck. Until this wears off. So somehow, even though I instantly killed the guy, I still got netted. Now here's my question. How would you have somehow gotten through this? They're not moving. There's no route or anything. So it's not like you could time it. It's like, all right, I'm gonna time this so that... It's like, no. They're just standing there. So then how else would you have somehow gotten in here? Do I really have to run the whole way? Find the Council of Black Harvest's Trail. Remember, this is taking place during Missa Pandaria, so this is way after the events of uh, Burning Crusade. So that's why the Ashtung are, like, in charge and patrolling this place, because, of course, uh, Akama has established complete, uh, you know, re-control of this place after uh, we defeated Illidan in the raid. What I find funny is that this is the situation where they're not welcoming us here when they should recognize that, you know, they would seem to be like, oh, wait a minute. You're one of those who helped us defeat Illidan. <gasps> a comma. Hi, foolish warlocks. I knew you would try again to ransack our temple. Wait. You're not one of the warlocks that snuck in here before. Why then are you here? Hmm, your name sounds familiar to me. What do you want from the Black Temple? Stay a moment and speak with me, rather than skulk about like a rogue. Yeah, I ain't no rogue. Warchief Gar- Ah, <laughs> uh, yes, this was when Garrosh was Warchief. Warchief Garrosh seeks the Black Harvest members who trespassed here recently. I wonder if I was, if I'm, I wonder if I'm an alliance character, if I would say King Varian Rin. Hmm. You and your horde did much to aid my people in freeing the Black Temple of Illidan's grasp. I will help you as a show of mutual trust and repayment of the debt I owe you. Akama, lead the way. It has been many months since those two warlocks broke into the temple, but I'm still not sure what they were after. Follow me. They visited both the Shrine of Lost Souls and the Temple Summit. Let me close my little thing here. Right. Now the Ashtung are friendly to me. They're like, oh, oh, he's with the comma. I have decided to trust this warlock for now. Let him move about the temple freely. I feel, you know, I recently read the book, or it will take many years for us to undo the damage that Magtheridin, Illidan, and the Fell Orcs did to this holy place. When I say read, I mean I listened to the audiobook. I hope that counts for reading the book. I would think so. I'm counting it as reading as I listen to the audiobook, so I'm counting it as reading the book. I listened to the audiobook of um, Illidan, the one that came out before Legion came out. Within lies the shrine of lost souls. The souls of thousands of my fallen brethren remain within this area. Use caution. There are many traps still active within. Perhaps one of your demon spells will grant you the ability to scout ahead before advancing forward. Hmm. Reach the shrine. But uh, I really enjoyed it. I thought it was a really well-written book. Um, it provided a lot of insight into certain things. Um, now, of course, this was the writer's attempts to try to make sense of some of the things that happened in uh, Burning Crusade that was not supposed to happen. Um, but, you know, 
when Legion came out, they were trying to somehow get it to work and add more context to what was going on. Let me see. What can I use here? I mean... Oh, the Eye of Kilrog. That's right. I almost forgot I had this ability. Oh my gosh, look at this. It's a whole, whole thing here. I hardly ever use this ability, but this is awesome. Let me do this again. I wonder how many times I'm going to have to do this. This is a timed thing. I don't like this kind of stuff. It's a very small time window to do this. I hate this. Good thing passing through it doesn't aggro it. All right, there we go. Much better. Okay, uh, okay, hold on. You know, what? Uh, forget this. I'm just gonna go on through. It's too far away. What the? Ow! 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 Okay. Okay, I get it. I get now why this was a, a thing to do with the... Oh, wow. Okay, now I understand what that was... Are you kidding me? Oh my gosh, this is going to be so edited. This is going to be a long video. I'm going to have to edit it a lot. Oh my gosh. So I guess the idea is you use your eye to check the pathway and then you walk the pathway yourself, avoiding the stuff that can kill you. This is annoying. I thought this was supposed to be cool and fun. Right now it's just annoying. Oh my gosh, come on, stop it. I don't want to do this. Uh, but I have to, I have to keep going. I thought this was going to be really cool. Really quick, really simple. No, Blizzard had to make it absurdly difficult and challenging. Why? I'm 112. I should not be having this kind of trouble.
So I think I figured this out. So the idea is that you're supposed to use your eye briefly to see the pathway. Like this. And then you move yourself forward. Now I get it. Now it makes more sense. All right. I thought you had to just bring your eye. No, you have to bring yourself, but you're just using the eye to kind of scout the traps so you don't kill yourself. It's a good thing there's really no cooldown on this. Alright. So this is kind of like the idea, I guess, of what you're supposed to be doing. Just using the eye briefly to kind of see the pathways. And then you bring yourself up to there. Okay. guys out in the process a little bit more this way it looks like I need a target I need a rage. don't want to have to deal with these guys in the middle of this so try and instantly take them out as fast as I can use this to go all right so just go straight forward This is where it's going to get a little complicated. All right. Okay, that guy. Right. Oh man, this is going to be the tight turn right here. This is going to be kind of the hard part right here. This is where I gotta be a little extra careful. Oh boy. Man, seeing all this just tanks the, the game and the frame rate. <laughs> straight line not quite almost there we go all right we made it Woo. this is amazing an untapped store of raw car arcane energy for years, it has languished, slowly growing in strength. Imagine what we could summon with just a fraction of this power. Summon? <laughs> Imagine what we could become if fused with power of this magnitude. The powers of this room are not unlike the original Well of Eternity in Azeroth. So this is how Illidan bound so many demons to his will. Not necessarily. Yes, the payment for the demon's service was to drink from the energy of this place. More so the Illidari. That's kind of what the book went into. By feeding upon this place's power, they were broken free from their addiction to the Legion's magic. I believe this is the original power source he intended to offer the Blood Elves to free them from their addiction to the Sunwell, but for some reason he didn't let them near it. What? You have no proof of such a claim. Didn't you notice? 
the demons under Illidan's command were free of the entropic Felgreen corruption that, that provides the Legion. Why do you talk so much, Kenrathod? <laughs> He's got one of the uh, classic vanilla armor sets. I was there at the end. Oh dear, are you going to regale me with yet another of your horrible stories? Shut up. I think I liked you better when your jaw was missing. Oh, that's racist to Forsaken. Did you hear that? Those Ashtung dogs are coming. Let's hurry up and start the ritual. Very well. We'll return later after the crystal is fully charged. Oh, boy. Die! No, you. So much the you shall have them! Ooh. Uh-oh. We have an unbound night lord. I actually forget the portion of the book that actually well went into this um, this, uh, this room and what it was for. But th what I found interesting was uh, Illidan's use of the book, or not the book, um, the book talking about Illidan's use of Magtheron, um and his blood, that he was actually using that to have the both the Blood Elves and the Night Elves. And this kind of leads directly in, this also leads directly into the starter zone for the Demon Hunt. That uh, he used that to help them become uh, demon hunters just like him. He would let have Magtheridon's uh, blood be the power source that they would use to um, to be you know gain powers such as his. That was kind of the idea. So. I don't remember if this actually had anything to do with that, uh, this room and its power source. I mean, the thing is, like, while that's an interesting theory by uh, Kanrathod, the thing is, he's, you know, that was not never actually Illidan's. He didn't necessarily care about that. Uh, his only care at that point in time, and this is touched upon the book, he didn't care about anything else. He didn't care about Outland. He didn't care about the factions uh, invading Outland. He didn't care about any of that. The only thing that he cared about was stopping the Burning Legion. And there's a portion of the book where, like, there, some of the stuff that he does in this book is awesome. There's some horrible things, but there's also some really cool things. Some of my men are trapped in the basement. There is little time. Help me save them. But he actually, uh... Wait, why did I summon my imp? What? Yo, remember me? Good, good. Hey, listen. We don't have to help this guy. There's got to be some riches around this place. Come on, boss. You know you want to. What? Wait, is this a choice? I can't tell whether or not this is a choice. Plunder the dark, the Black Temple. While Kama and his men are dealing with the demons... There is nobody to stop you from stealing a relic or two. Loot everything you can grab and reach the end of the Den of Mortal Delights. What? Wait, do I have to? You have eight minutes to loot everything that you can take. Take. Oh my gosh. Well, I guess warlocks are like, you know what? Screw this. We're looting the place. Oh my gosh. Okay. The Den of Mortal Delights. Oh my goodness. Well, that's certainly not going to get the Ash Tongue back on my favor. I didn't realize there was a quest here to say, Hey, just go ahead and start looting and robbing everything. Oh, we're at stage 7 of 9. Okay, good. 
This is taking a long time. Don't worry. This is going to be a heavy, you know, a lot of the, tr you know, this. I'm already letting you guys know. I'm going to be editing the, the crap out of this video. <laughs> There's a lot of stuff here I'm cutting. I'm going to cut out. The den of mortal delights. <laughs> Ooh. Ooh, a sparkling sapphire. Ooh, my. I'm just just a straight up looter now. You know what? Auto loot. We're just looting. It's time to loot. Time to loot. Loot, 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 loot. That's the name of the game. Hello. Boom. I don't really know what the actual point to loot and all this stuff is. Like, what what am I gonna get from it? But whatever. It's like, hey, go loot everything now. I'm like, why? Because we're warlock and that's what we do. I thought that's what rogues do. I thought rogues were the one who were supposed to ninja loot everything. That's right, I said it. <laughs> Look, I've seen the videos. I've even seen the comments of people saying. It's like, well, of course, the rogue, you know, the, it's the guy playing a rogue who's ninja looting everything. You know? And and then I see some people defending it like, well, they, well they're just role playing. That's what rogues do. No, I'm not trying to, I'm not hating on rogues or rogue players or anything. I'm just kind of poking fun. Just a little joke. That's all it is. Just a little joke. I found it hilarious that my, my, um, that it was my, uh, little imp here, who I would not even, I never use, and yet he's the one that popped out saying, hey, hey, boss, let's go loot everything. I'm like, why? Loot as much as you can. Why is this an objective? Why is this a quest? Loot as much as you can. This is gonna, a comma is gonna be so mad at me. I chose to loot the temple instead of helping him with his peep, helping him and his people. And he was like, all right, I'm going to make sure that they don't attack because for now you're going to help us out. Well, apparently the other warlocks he, he captured because they were trying to loot everything. And now here I am completely backstabbing him by looting everything. Look at this. Look at all this stuff I'm stealing. All these golden plates, golden platters. Yes, it's mine. The loot is mine. Loot, loot, loot. I'm just looting. I'm looting this place clean. My goodness. <laughs> Five minutes to keep looting. Am I supposed to be making my way up to the top regardless of, uh, I'm out of range. loot? Like, seriously, it's like, it's like encouraging me to loot. And I'm like, can I just move on? Can I just forget about this and just go ahead and keep on going? Please? I'd rather just move on and continue the quest instead of looting. There's just jewels just littered all over the place. Look at all this loot that I'm, I'm collecting here. I have to move some stuff out of the way. I just want to move on. Reach the end of the Denimore. Okay, so I can, so it's actually, it also is telling me to go ahead and just reach the end. All right, that's good to know. I was like, do I have to like stay here and loot this place? No, no, you can just loot what you can and then just keep on moving. I do know that the end of this quest is supposed to happen at the top, you know, where we fought Illidan. He's just like, no, no, go ahead. Loot, loot what you, loot what you can. <laughs> it's not like a comma's gonna care or anything. <laughs> My imp was like, hey, boss, let's loot this place clean. Like, it's like, for, I didn't summon you. So? Ah, <sighs> fine. <laughs> 
Fine, 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 fine. My imp is like, I got him, boss! I mean, I'm 112, so even my imp can just, like, wreck pretty much almost anything in here. Keep in mind that back in the, that back in Pandaria, like, uh, the highest you could do this back when it first came out was, like, 90. And it was considered a pretty difficult quest, uh, even if, uh, like, even if you were, like, at gear or even at level, it was still pretty difficult. Look at this big chest here. That is funny. Appraisal. Appraises the value of all your plunder. You looted everything you could grab on your way up. Time to tally up your plunder. And hide it before a comma catches up. <laughs> Take the empowered soul core to the temple summit. Alright, where is it? Oh, there we go. All right. So remember how, uh, if you've seen my Black Temple video, this is where we went up to face Illidan, right? Defeat Canrathod. A demonic soul. Oh, there's supposed to be a portal that shows up there. It messed up. Look at Canrathod. Behold, I have truly mastered the fell energies of this world. The demonic power I now command it is indescribable, unlimited, omnipotent. You think I've gone too far? There is no such thing. The Black Harvest will enslave the most powerful demons. Draw on their power and destroy all who oppose us in this world and on Azeroth. Do you mean to stop me, little one? I'd like to see you try. Ha! Your feeble attacks are entertaining. Would you like to see one of my new pets? The Analon are incredibly destructive creatures. Their sheer strength and power is absolutely unrivaled. What is this? I haven't even really attacked this guy yet. Oh. Oh, he actually takes a, takes a punch. I'm trying to get him down to a certain level. The curse of ultimate doom. My power is unimaginable. Soon the pain will be unbearable. If two imps are better than one imp, what's better than two imps? Sixty imps! You thought you could defeat me? Nothing can kill me now, puny mortal. We should jump off the side of the Black Temple and see what's down there. And now it comes to an end. No! Wait. Oh, the uh, the imp. I was like, what is going on? Oh, the imp. What was it? I kept wondering what that text was. All right. Hold on. Hold on. All right. Ignore the text. I'm just going to go back to what was being said here. Uh, let me see here. Well. And now your sad tale comes to an end. No! Jupeka! What are you? 
This is only what you once asked me to do if it came to this, Kenrathod. You brought this on yourself. <laughs> Why is the imp telling me to throw more dots? Oh, that's funny. Kenrathod enveloped himself with so much fell energy that it corrupted him totally. But a small taste of his power should not be harmful. Go ahead. Now go. And use what you have learned. If you ever wish to have the fell energy purged from you, or reabsorb some of Kenrathod's, talk to me. I'll be at the Altar of Damnation in Shadowmoon Valley, keeping him banished. No, you'll be in my order hall. In a legion. What needs doing? You have done more for this world than you can know, Warlock. It is something of a shame Kamathod met his end. A shame. The Void is my ally. ally. So, the, uh, I really wish the little emblem for my, for a class hall was here. But, there is, so when you get your extra follower, your champion follower in Legion, Jubeka brings up what happened to Kamathod, and you actually end up getting, uh, I meant to relook up the quest, but like, was it a ver? It was like either a clone of Kanrathod or him brought back, but like, cleansed of this. I don't even remember. So here we go. Drain fell energy. The green fire is mine. Look at that, all my icons changed. It's all green fire now. Yeah! <laughs> Woo! Look at that. Oh, that's so cool. Does it change any of the icons for the other two specs or is it just destruction? I mean, there's really no abilities with Demo that I guess would that would work uh, for. What about uh, Affliction? No, not really. So this is mainly just for Destro, which is fine. I mean, Destro is the one I find myself using more often these days. I've been messing with uh, Demo, but oh, look at that! Oh, hold on, we gotta see this in action. Yes. I rain down fell fire from the skies. <laughs> that is awesome. My demons I... stand ready. Huh. As long as I exist, still a taste of energies. If it must be done. Nice. And I can always go back to her to have this removed. Wow. Well, there were a couple of annoying parts about the quest. Um, you know, the go to this zone, find this one tiny fragment on the floor. Now go to this whole other zone, find this tiny fragment on the floor. Go to this whole other zone, find this tiny... You know, that was a little annoying. Um, the quest here in the Black Temple, I mean, that first portion of trying to sneak in wasn't too fond of that because I was like, how would you even do this if you didn't even bother taking out one of the uh, scouts at the, you know, one of the guards at the gate? Um, also, that I have kill rod portion. I mean, once you actually know what you're supposed to do, and then it's like, okay. The first time I was like, oh my gosh, what happened? And then I had to run all the way back there. But um, I can see why a lot of people really, really like this. And this is the kind of stuff that I love. Quests that only certain classes or certain races have access to. Only Warlock players get access to this quest, which is awesome. No other class offers this. Now, each class does have their own different quests. That's what makes it great. But man, ugh. Do you know how long I've always thought, man, it would be cool if my fire was green, like the uh, fire that Gul'dan shoots in, Hi in uh, Heroes of the Storm, or, you know, how he would... Um, like when they would show it in how he would use the fell in the Warcraft movie, how it was all green and such. I was like, man, I'd love to have green fire for my warlock. And now I do. Awesome. So that was the quest for the green fire for the warlock. So 
Again, I love the fact that these are two, both of these are our followers in my class order hall. In fact, let me go ahead and end this. Let's go back to Dalaran now. And I will go ahead and head to my class order hall and show you guys that each of these people are followers of mine in Legion because I am now the leader of the Black Council. Oh, I'm sorry, not the Black Council, the Council of the Black Harvest. Sorry, I think there's, uh, I got confused with the different council. It is a little annoying that every time I want to go to the Warlock Order Hall, I have to go all the way over here. I have to go into the sewer entrance, and I have to, you know. What? 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 I have no idea what just happened there. I was like, hello? <laughs> Why aren't you letting me rest? And then you have to go down here and you have to go through this portal. I really wish I had like a gate or something to instantly go back. Like I like I do with my death knight. Once you go to Battle for Azeroth, it gets rid of this little helper icon that you would have over here. So I have to go over here in order to access this. So, my followers. That's Ritzkin, that's Ritzkin Flameskull, who we read about at the beginning. These are the Yardar twins from uh, the Sunwell Plateau raid. This is Zinn and Smythe, the worgen who has a muzzle and doesn't talk. Here's Ebonlock. Yeah. Catherine Abelock, right here. He's my uh, champion follower. Here's Kira Irisol, who we meet uh, during Legion and helps us out. This is Shinfell, the blood elf that we read about, who's uh, a bit of a Satanist. Here's Jebecca. I just recently reactivated her. That's why she's so low-leveled. Here we have Lulu Fizzlebang, the daughter of... Fizzle, you know, Fizzlebang, the one who summoned, uh, Taraxus from Child the Crusader. You, you trifling gnome, your arrogance will be your undoing. You know, that one. That's, this is his, uh, daughter. Yeah. And then here's Calidus, who talks uh, like, uh, Gollum. Calidus, help master, helps friend. We meet him in, the uh, Legion, and he helps us kind of take this place. The Dreadscar Rept is our class order hall. But uh, as you can see, yeah, Jubeka, Shinfell, Ebonlock, Flameskull, they're all followers of mine <coughs> here in Legion. Excuse me. So, yeah. This is definitely one of my favorite order halls. And the fact that uh, you got to, you know, when uh, when you start Legion and Flameskull you know, teleports you and he walks up and he's like, A moment of your time. No doubt you know what happened to Catherine Ebenlock. So, and that's when he invites you to help out the council. So, yep. And here are my other members of the Council of Black Harvest, and I am their leader. Hmm. I wonder why he's highlighted. Ah, nothing. Huh. All right. So that was the Green Fire Quest. Hope you guys enjoyed it. It's still available for uh, any Warlock players who never did it before. You do have to, e you know, if you want to do it and you want to start it, you either have to go to the auction house and you have to purchase that Sealed Tome of the Lost Legion item. It is going to cost you a bit of gold. It's like, I think it's running for like 50,000 gold now these days. Um, if you'd rather not spend that much gold, you have to go to the Isle of Thunder in Pandaria and try and farm for it there and get it to drop. I don't know what the drop rate is for those, but that's how you start up this quest if you want to get the green fell fire for your warlock. So, I hope I will see you guys next time.